Hello, and welcome to a rather special deck showcase video. A few weeks back, I made a post about comparing two different Fatui deck archetypes, the Hydro Resonance Fatui deck and the Pyro Resonance Fatui deck. Well, today's the day, so this video will feature two different decks, showcase some matches with both, and then discuss the pros and cons of both, along with which one is the better deck. We'll start off with the Hydro Fatui deck. Naturally, it runs both the Fatui Pyro Agent and the Mirror Maiden, but for its third character, it has Mona. Mona's passive ability to switch off of her to another character card without ending your turn allows the deck to consistently set up some very early and lethal combos. Additionally, her burst, which does 4 hydro damage and then doubles the damage from the next ability used, can be useful in the late game to help push out some big damage. Now moving into the rest of the deck, you'll notice that we run a lot of energy cards. And this is because one of the biggest strengths of the Fatui character cards is that they both have very cheap and powerful bursts. These bursts are going to be our main source of damage and oftentimes kill an enemy card outright. So because of that, we have one copy of Iron Tongue Tian, two copies of Liu Su, two copies of Star Signs, and one copy of Calx's Arts. And additionally, the two copies of I Haven't Lost Yet also can generate energy for us when we lose a character card. Because this is a Hydro Resonance deck, we also run both Hydro Resonance specific cards, the two free Hydro Die cards, and the two Hydro Resonance healing cards. The latter is quite important since the deck only has two copies of Mushroom Pizza and two copies of Monstat Hash Browns as healing. Because of the deck's lack of healing cards, it tends to be weaker in the mid and late game, so an explosive early game is necessary for the deck to shine. And to do this, your ideal starting hand would likely include one of the Liu Su cards, one of the two copies of Adeptus' Temptation, and another of the energy generating cards. With these cards, you can set up for an instant round 2 kill on any character. If you can also start and end the first round first, this will end up being an unavoidable kill as well. The trick will be to start with Mona's skill, play Liu Su, and then swap to the Dewey Pyro Agent. From there, you could choose to attack to gain the remaining energy for the Fatui Pyro Agent, or use one of the other energy generating cards, depending on if you think that you'll still be able to end the round first. Unless the opponent uses summon removal on Mona's skill, regardless of whom they swap to, the Mimic will apply Hydro to them, allowing for you to burst kill them the next round by using the Adeptus' Temptation for either 10 or 11 damage, depending on whether or not the Fatui Pyro Agent still has his stealth up. However, if that kind of an opening doesn't present itself to you in the starting round, the deck also runs two copies of Paimon to generate extra dice and help it push ahead in the mid-game. We also run one copy of each of our Fatui members' skill cards, Mirror Cage and Paid in Full. While both have their utilities, these cards are optional and could be swapped out for additional card draw engines like Lieben or Timmy, as the deck sorely lacks these. However, doing so would cause you to lose out on the extra stealth point for the Fatui Pyro Agent and the Mirror Maiden's ability to force opponents to pay an extra die to swap off a specific character. Both options have their pros and cons. The last cards in the deck are all fairly standard. There's one copy of Gambler's Earrings, one copy of Knights of Favonius Library, two copies of the Bestest Travel Companion, two copies of Strategize, our only card draw engine, and two copies of Leave It To Me, the help with consistent quick swapping. But without further ado, let's see how the deck does in some matches. Okay. Hydro Resonance deck with Noel. Interesting. And we're up first, which is pretty optimal if we want to go for a one round combo, though. Hmm. The double Paimon is interesting, but I don't know if that's what we necessarily want. Maybe. We'll keep it. We might not go for the one round or the round two combo here then. We'll still this start with Mona, destiny. and she'll give us some uh, quick swap opportunity if our dice don't go well, but probably going to shy away from the, the one round 
With around two combo. And we've got a Paimon there. Yeah. And this this very much seems like we shy away from doing the the combo. Into and instead go into ramp. We also have Liu Su and Star Signs here, so we should be fine. Interesting. Makes me very much want to do the combo to try to take down Noel very early, but we just don't have the we don't have the cards for it. Though the idea is definitely there. Hmm. I think I'm gonna set up for it just in case. This is long overdue. Just in case there's a means of me being able to do it, I, I think I might want to set up for it. I would have to get. I'd have to draw. Well, it won't matter now. They switch back to Barbara. But yeah, I'd have to draw into my Adeptus Temptation for that. And I did too, which is very impressive to think about. We could theoretically just kill off this Barbara if we really wanted to go in that direction. And we've gotten pretty much all of the dice we would need for it. The only concern is that if we did it, it would leave us with... Well, we'd still have plenty of dice, probably. Think about it. If we did that, plus the... Yeah, that would be... That would be pretty lethal. Um, An insta-kill on the Barbara gives us... Not a huge advantage, because we still have to deal with the Noel, obviously. But it does give us a hefty advantage in terms of... Um, I think I'll just still go for it. Why not? It'll be fun. Um, do we draw for... Nah, I'm not gonna try to draw for my one gambler's earring there. It'd be good, but this is fine. Why has everyone stopped singing? Shadows of fate! Now, do we get our defense back and put Pyro on her, or do we try to play into our ramp? I think it's better just to have the defense back. After all, we want to make sure our fellow here stays up and running. They can probably swap to Noel and attack again. Yeah, probably going to use her skill, because then they get crystallized. Oh, just a normal attack, that's fine. We do have to worry about her skill coming out, though, very soon with next round. Or her burst, rather. So I would certainly like to set up again for an insta-kill combo on her. We've got another Adeptus Temptation for it. Um, we don't have any Hydro on her, so that could be an issue, but depending on what we roll or a draw into with um we might want to ramp too i'm gonna keep those geos there oh so she's probably going to attack depending on what we get into here We do get a quick swap and a hydro dice. Hmm. We could quick swap to Mona and try to get some defense up here. Or we could go into her and put the some pressure on. It might be good to swap to her, get hit, put the skill onto her. And then quick swap the Mona to start doing some damage, perhaps. I mean, we are going to take probably, what, four Geo damage, but we definitely don't want to be on somebody with an element when that happens, so. Let's 
And this will give her energy, so sure. I heard you. Just depends on what the Noel has. If there's a Wolf's Gravestone sword in there, that could be a problem. Time to nope, just up. a regular burst. That's fine. I'll pull out that, and then this. In theory, we could actually kill the Noel right now with an Adeptus Temptation. This would not be enough to... Unless they run a shield. If they do a shield, then they'd probably be able to work, which is what they would have to do. Yeah, they're going to go for shield because they're sensing that the burst is going to come out. And that was an idea. Even with Adeptus Temptation, I think I'd be one short, especially if she's using that. I think I might actually be one or two short. Yeah, two short there. Um, that's no big deal. That's nothing that he can't necessarily handle. Though, do I want to instead play the ramp out? <sighs> we could get rid of the shield pretty easily here. Um... They'll end up going first. Yeah, I think we'll do this swap to you. This is destiny. We are going to lose out Let on our ramp, which is a little sad. But this will do another two damage here, so that's fine. We might have to play a little more defensively here. Maybe get our ramp back in there. We definitely have the ability to get the ramp back, too. So that's good. This might just, again, be a very defensive play. Especially since we didn't roll a whole lot that we can use here. We could always switch to him. We're in a fast action, that's fine. Shadows of fate. That's fine as well. And maybe switch to him and use his skill instead. You cannot run. Leaving so soon? Even if they use a shield, they might have Hydro Resonance heal here. Or they're gonna try to use a shield. I think even with a shield. We should still be able to. That's nine. If I were to burst. Um, oh, no, because they have that there. Mm. No, I think we'll be a little off unless we attack. Hmm. How do we want to play that? I think we just play the ramp and wait. We might be in this one for the long con before we can actually... Take out the Noel. So I do think we just wait here. There's this, which could be helpful. We could easily make it so that the Noel can't really swap very much or put it on the Mona so that they can't swap very uh, easily or cheaply. Yeah, the ramp. 
ramp is going to come in here pretty hard for us. Yeah, we'd be one short there. We did this, we'd do two damage, and we'd unfortunately lose our stuff. So I do think we just fly over there and, and start going. Unfortunately, we couldn't use her burst if we wanted to. As a dutiful maid would. That's gonna do a bit of damage. She's definitely within death's range here. So we have to think on what we want to do. We can't quick swap again. They could, but it would leave them with pretty much nothing. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think we just probably switch to Mona at this point. It is as the stars foretold. Mona and then the energy, and then Mona could probably burst, and that would give us pretty much an insta-kill on someone. Crystallize is annoying, however, if we burst... Uh, nah, that'll only take us to seven. We could switch back here. This would be lethal if we do that, so... Kind of depends on... I think we just wait and hold off. Depends on what they do. They're probably going to switch to Mona there. And if they don't switch to Mona, then we can quick swap to Pyro Agent and likely kill the Noel. Unless they have another dice in hand. Another Hydro one, which I don't think they do. Or some way to heal. We should be able to do 10. But if they switch to the Mona, we can just Mona burst. Do they have uh, food in hand? Yeah, it's good. Well, is technically showing 10 right now because of the shield. I believe with Adeptus Temptation and the reaction, we should be able to do 11 technically, which would be 10 here. So we should be able to kill. This is long overdue. But they still need me. Yeah, from here on out, yeah, the opponent concedes. They've realized there's no real way to come back from that. So yeah, pretty good match. The Adeptus Temptation really coming in clutch there for that one. Nice. On to the next. Okay, looks like we are up against the sort of standard Klee deck here with Hydro Resonance. 
Yeah, this could be an interesting one, especially with the opponent going first. We have double star signs, so that's a very tempting to keep. Um, but I don't know if I necessarily want the double star signs here. The opponent is likely going to start with Sing Cho. Um, and that could be an issue since they are starting first. We pretty much are not going to get off our, our kill combo. And even if we were, um, we don't have our Adeptus Temptation. So I don't think we can keep double star signs. And I don't know if I want to keep that immediately either. Okay, now we've got... We've got ramp, so it might be a good idea to start with her and then go into the, the, the ramp here instead. <sighs> yep, Sing Show is starting first, punished. as expected. A lot of pyro here, not a lot of hydro, which is unfortunate. Um, again, it might still be good for the ramp. A definite great deal of pyro. The game really wanted us to go that pyro direction, it seems. I'm going to get normal attack off. Uh, hmm. I could use the skill here, but does it really matter if I use the skill? I don't honestly think so, because we're not going to likely be able to use much more Hydro on him anyways, so it just seems a little silly. Um, it seems almost better just to swap to him and then just go from there, but at the same time, maybe just get the normal attack in. Yeah, I think we'll at least get some damage in. After all, we do want to get our ramp down. This would have been a perfect opportunity, though, I think, given the fact that they didn't get turn one stuff off. Had we had our turn one kill combo here, this would have been quite lovely. So instead, I'm just going to do that, and then... There's no good area for me to... There's no real good way for me to do this, is there? They're going to go first, kind of regardless, unless I just end right here. They'll get the dice from that, unless I attack and ruin it. Um, but they haven't ended their turn yet, so I can't. This is a little annoying. Um, we could get double ramp down if we want to do this and then sacrifice the star signs. That is an idea. Why not? We might need to we, we, we might need to do that. So let's go for the, the double ramp tactic. Let's let's see how that rolls. Okay, we get a quick swap, which will be nice. We aren't going to be able to kill the uh, Sing Cho, so it's not a huge point in even trying. Um, so using the Patui Agent skill might be better. Ooh, those are not the best rolls. At least we have this. Um, again, we could do that, but that's not going to do a whole lot here and we're gonna get hit in the face for what one i think from this and then they're going to the switch to someone and since we don't have her skill that's not really gonna be all that useful for us i would say we switch to mona if anything get some defense going on and then swap to our this Fatui agent destiny shadows of fate and they are going to get their dice, which is going to let them essentially be able to match mine, but their dice will be random. Of course, weave you a verse. mine exactly aren't the best, so.
This is long overdue. Of course, with Klee, this is going to be an issue. They will be able to do a lot, and they're going to draw quite a few cards here. So this is going to be a tad bit concerning. They do switch to Klee, as expected. Um, I could just normal attack there. Yeah, it seems normal attack would be better save this. The issue, of course, is they could use her skill and then from there attack twice with normal attack, and that's going to be a major issue. Which seems to be where they're going. Yep. Okay. If they do that, that's going to be two pyro, which will take us to seven, and then that's going to come down and do... How much of these again? A tune, because that'll be another four. So we'll essentially take five from the first one, and then be uh, pretty much dead. So that's going to be an issue. I think no matter where we go, we're probably losing someone here, and that's a problem. So I think we're going to have to swap around. This is not going to be pleasant really for anyone. It is as Mona can, I think, foretell. tank this the best right now, but... Because there's the normal attack. Yep, there's four. Yeah, somebody is dying regardless. There's just no way around it. That's gonna be lethal right there. The stars are fading. And now they have their burst, which is gonna be a problem. Again, uh, turn too late there. This seems to be a common occurrence. heal, but that won't do a whole lot. Um, even if we try to skill, that won't do a whole lot. Um, she is basically dead. They could heal. We could... I mean, we're going to probably want to... I think we want to save this because any sort of attack that we do here is going to result in her dying, I think. If they hit with skill for three, plus the, the two will be five. However, if they normal attack, that'll be two. And I mean, we could theoretically survive one hit from this if I use this right now. So, unless they have something else planned, which is possible. They could have something else up their sleeve. Um, I'm just going to use this just to get Hydro on her. They could also just swap to someone or they'll, they'll heal. If we had a quick swap, that would be good. I think even if we do manage to take out the Klee, though, we are left with the issue that we don't have near as much heal as they likely do. And then there's this to also consider. So kind of no matter what we do here, we end up exploding. Um, we could just do the burst. It's annoying, but we could do it. <laughs> Got you. She dies, which is fine. Then we go to you. 
they'll probably swap off of the Klee to Mona, something that, you know, or Sing Cho, that's fine, because we can insta-kill him right now. An eye for an eye. I am outplayed. And now, yeah, now Mona's gonna do quite a bit of damage with just a normal attack. Or are they gonna go for a skill? Delve that into seems destiny. a bit interesting, but I guess I can see why they do that. I do think we are going to need our skill here. So of course, they'll be able to go first. I, again, I don't think we're going to be able to win this. Amona can be very tanky and very annoying to deal with. They also have the Klee that they can swap to and do tons of damage. We're out of ramp and really don't have much for heals. While we do have a, a full burst left, we don't have really any means of doing any kind of insta-kill combo with it. So we're very much just at the mercy of whatever dice we roll um, and whatever our strategize can get for us. We are desperately in need of some healing. Yeah, they're gonna fast action. Um, and yeah, that'll be enough to do it. What you owe must Unlucky. one day be paid. On to the next. Okay, looks like we're on to an interesting kind of freeze deck there. A freeze swirl. Hmm. We have some energy stuff. Uh, we've got some stuff for being able to do a burst combo as well. I think we can keep this. This is destiny. Okay, looks like we have the stuff to be able to cast it all. No, my sword! Of course, again, they go first. Um, do I necessarily even need to cast this? I mean, I probably do. There's, there's nothing wrong with doing it. Yeah. Let me scrub. I should have probably placed this first in case they can quick swap or push and then, yeah, quick swap and push. But I don't think that's what they're going for. You cannot run. So I'm gonna do this. And this. And this should help guarantee an instant win against that. Against the Sing Show. Unless they swap off of it, which is possible, but it doesn't look like they're going to. And that's going to give us a very quick advantage over one of their, their strongest ones. Yeah, we pretty much have it with that. Yeah, we've got one Pyro, one Hydro there. I'm gonna even get rid of the Hydro and try to go for all that we can get there. Mm, nope, still not liking that. Okay, so the Hydro came back to us, that's fine. Uh, will we need to? Yeah, we'll be one short if we don't. That's fine. Uh, you know what? We don't do this much. Let's do this first. See if we can get the gamblers. We do not. Should have expected it. An eye for an eye. I am outplayed. Dodge this. Okay. They are going to be able to, uh, I think I just play star signs at this point and just go with it. We'll, we should really just be fine. I don't see a way where they're going to be able to actually take out our 
agent. However, they could just push it off of him, which is fine. That would just push us back to, to Mona. Dodge this! Okay, let's see what we've got going on here. Uh, don't want this stuff. We can keep the pyro to see if we can get our skill back up, which it looks like we'll have the ability to do. And then from there, we can see what we can do. Yeah, we could just burst, but I'd rather not. I think it's better just to play defensively, get the pyro on him, and then... So soon. Swap to maybe Mona or our other agent. This man will be maiden. frozen in time. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, we can swap to the Mirror Maiden, <laughs> give her her energy. I heard you. They're likely going to swap the sucrose to get the effects of this off. Or now they'll just go for a normal attack, which is interesting. You can't hide. Okay, now they swap the sucrose. That's fine. That's not gonna do a whole lot to us right now, and it allows us to end first. They could always just swap right back to the Kaya to do more damage if they wanted to. But it doesn't look like they're going to do that. That's fine. Okay, we have an interesting hand here. A lot of stuff that we really can't use um, unless... Well, other than the dice conversions, we can't use them. Uh, the healing can be useful, though, if we want to play a more defensive uh, round here. That might be best to do. Yeah, Mona is likely going to get frozen, which is unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Um, I'm actually going to hold off on that for a moment. Interesting. It's not a quick swap, and they already have the free swap, so I'm curious as to what they're planning here. Test. Oh. Elemental skill, freeze on the Mona, that's what I thought, brings out him, which is what I was hoping for, and then this will be pretty, pretty good there. Um... We do that. That'll help keep him alive. An eye for an eye. <sighs> My research. Switch to there, get hit for two. Freeze. That hits for the one there. We are no, I don't think we'll lose him. Because we can do this. And Probably switch to Mona. Uh, how much would... I have to see how much uh, Shatter does. Shatter, I think, does, what, plus two? So, and if this is only doing two, then I, she should survive. It is as the stars and if she home. doesn't, we'll get some dice and energy from it, so... Opponent ends the turn anyway, so yeah, we're good. Which is odd that they ended on three dice. They could have probably normal attack. Uh, 
Uh, depending on what they do, we could just burst down with the Mere Maiden here. there. Uh, yeah, we can just burst this down to the Mere Maiden and win. <sighs> the insolent shall be punished. So, yep. Yeah, pretty good there. Taking out the Sing Cho early pretty much stopped their combo right up front, which is kind of ideal for how this deck wants to be. So, yeah, pretty good with that. The early take out a character tactic is pretty much how this deck wants to function uh it can go into ramp if needed and that works fine as well but certainly being able to uh to take out uh, opponents early with a quick burst that is that that's what gives this deck its initial advantage since it kind of falls at the the mid and late game it doesn't have enough sustain for late game and mid-game, it kind of has to regain its energy, so if you don't have a bunch of energy cards down early, it can be really hard to, to catch back up. Before we talk too much about our Hydro Fatui deck matches, let's look at our other contender, the Pyro Fatui deck, and see how it does. Most of the deck is fairly identical to the Hydro Fatui deck, but instead of Mona and Hydro Resonance, we have Bennett and Pyro Resonance. Even when looking at the rest of the deck, you'll see that few changes were made. On the one hand, this helps make the comparison fair, but it also proves how both decks operate mostly the same. Like the Hydro Fatui deck, this deck also focuses on its bursts to maximize damage, so all of the energy generating cards are still here. However, instead of our Hydro Resonance specific cards, we have our Pyro Resonance specific cards both the Pyro Die cards and the plus 3 Pyro Reaction Damage buff cards. The latter can be used as a cheaper replacement for the Adeptus' Temptations for reaction-causing bursts, or to buff other reaction-causing abilities and deal massive damage. The last major difference between the two decks is the removal of the Fatui member's skill cards in lieu of two copies of Bennett's first card, Grand Expectation. And this card offers so much value to an already very powerful ability, so running both copies of this card instead of the more situational skill cards is an easy choice. Additionally, Bennett's Burst, especially with this card in play, will help this deck in the mid and late game with both damage dealing and healing. So, with that out of the way, let's see how the deck compares to the Hydro Fatui deck in some matches. Okay, looks like we are up against an Electro Resonance deck with Sing Cho, so taking out Sing Cho is kind of a big deal. We are going to have to think about how we want to do this. Um, this doesn't look amazing, especially with you here. Uh, the Quick Swap is nice. This is nice. The draw is nice. This is going to be a bit of a slower run, I think, and I'm a little concerned with it. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to uh, try to do what we can to take out this thing. So the fact that they're running Electro Resonance means that we do have to worry about a lot of energy. And oof, was this not the dice roll. Okay, that's a little more manageable. You stay condemned. We, we can work with this. However, they also go first, so this is going to be a bit of a struggle here. Uh, no mercy. To take them out, especially if they have any kind of okay, normal attack again. And they have the dice to do the burst, which is going to be an issue. So how do we want to play this? We could still roll through it and murder him next round. I think that is, we're emptying everything pretty much to do this, but I believe that is what's this going is to end up happening. 
if they don't have the dice for it, we end up essentially ridding them of all of their cards to pull this off, so this isn't terrible, but this is not an ideal situation. And against something that requires such a quick, aggressive start and they can actually pull it off, uh, yeah, this is not as optimal as, say, the Hydro version can do. So now we have to deal with intense Electro attacks coming in, and that's going to be an issue. We can certainly get the kill here without needing to use the Adeptus Temptation, and that's fine, but this is going to be a bit rough. Uh, especially if we don't draw the, or roll the dice that we need. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to convert. This will get the kill. An eye for an eye. I am outplayed. But yeah, this is this is going to be a bit rough. Elemental skill here. Um, we could just swap instead. Uh, and not have to worry about getting hit. That could be the thing, because again, even if we did attack, it would do nothing. Um, we would just be wasting our time. We'd gain energy, but that's about it. I don't know if I necessarily want Bennett to take the hit either, though. But let's just swap to him, see what happens. I won't hold you back. Much. He'll be able to get all of the energy take that this. we need. That's going to be a bit of a problem. If we do get Electro charged here, uh, that could be an issue. Because that would do, what, three to him? Plus the normal attack, two would be seen five, we'd be at, yeah, that'd be pretty rough. Um... Yeah, we might just want to keep swapping around here. Punished. Mitigate damage. Sure, we are putting a lot of elements on us, but we are mitigating a heck of a lot of damage. So that might be best here until we can get Bennett's burst out. We could have kept on him to keep his burst up, but... How much does this actually do damage-wise? It does two electro. That'll take us to seven. I won't hold you back. Much. Take this. That's fine because we'll be healed back to eight, and then we will get the energy for the burst. Not drawing what I want there, but that's that's fine. Let's see. Can we get the dice for the burst though? And we do. That's actually quite fortuitous for us. Yeah, we do get the dice. We get a lot of hydro. This is yeah. This is gonna be a pyro hydro fun fest here. Um, I'm gonna have to just go on out with it. I'm going in. Unfortunately, we don't have his skill card, which is a bit rough. Okay, they are waiting for the Sino to get his ability to start doing electro charge attacks, and I think at this point he probably has it. Yep, and they're going to quick swap to it. Is quite a bit of damage there. Um, not overly concerned though. The 
insolence shall be punished. Because that is going to do quite a bit. Unfortunately, it also gives them quite a bit of dice now to work with, with just normal attacks. So that's might actually have just been a problem. Yeah, that's probably lethal. Yeah, I can't do a whole lot about this, unfortunately. Yep. This body belongs to ice and snow. So we are going to need to hopefully get the kill off here um, with the, the skill. Which actually, I don't think we will, even with the plus damn. No, we should be able to. This should be lethal on the Sino, I think, if we can get the skill. And it looks like we are going to have to um, pray for the dice rolls. Okay, we did get the dice rolls, albeit quite questionable here. It's unfortunate that we aren't really drawing all of the things that we need, though. So if we do that, that actually won't be it. Oh, because we're short. But we can rectify that. Does that do it? Does two? Okay. Well, they're out of this, so this could be useful. And that'll be a leap. No escape. In death, a new cycle begins. Okay, let's see what they're looking for here. Energy, okay. They're gonna go for a burst here. Power that ended Python. Hurts, but not the end of the world. How do we wanna do this? I do think we sacrifice one of these. However, how much damage does this thing do? There's three there, and then this will do one electro. So, that's three damage we're looking at coming back. able to deal eight. So I do think we have this. I think unless they have some very impressive healing, I do think we're able to do eight here. Even with the subtract one there, I do think we are able to get the kill. Ah, these. A little bit late. We can, however, convert them, which we will probably need to do. Uh, no, actually we won't. Looks like we'll be able to do it just right off the bat, but just in case something goes awry. Reroll, see if we get something better. We do not. Yeah, that'll be just enough. And, and there we go. We managed to slip out of victory here with our Pyro Fatuis. Again, the early kill on the Sing Cho, very helpful for ensuring that they just can't get their main burst damage back up and running. Uh, and uh, Bennett's burst helping drastically with the healing really helps make up for any lack of healing that we may have. Uh, and that's one of the things that really helps set this deck apart from the blue Fatuis, the Hydros, is that there's a little more sustain in terms of Bennett's Burst, and that the mid-game, they can still apply a good amount of damage, even if they can't necessarily do a uh, 
as easy of a intro combo. Okay, looks like we've got an overload deck here. Klee and Diluc, interesting combo. And then Kitsing, also kind of interesting. You'd expect to see official there for off, uh, off field uh, support specials or uh, elemental damage with the uh, Oz, but interesting. Um, ooh, this is a spicy hand. No real energy to say, but a combo of this and that is a guaranteed lethal on pretty much anything with Hydro applied to it. I think I will drop two of these, though. And there's some energy. So, yeah, we could be seeing something very special. We could also go in the opposite direction, apply Pyro, but I think this will work better. The insolent shall be punished. We just now need to hope that we roll the correct amount of dice for it. That or we're going to be using a lot of normal attacks. Okay, this looks decent. We can at least do some normal attacks. Um, yeah, this should be fine. We've got the Hydro that we need. There's star signs. Yeah, we should be able to do quite a bit here. No mercy! If they remain on Ketsing, that won't be a big deal for us. We'll have to use Star Signs next round, however. We won't have enough dice to use it and his attack, and it would be better to just use his attack. If they swap off, we'll use his skill. Just kind of depends on what they do here. They will probably swap, considering that they, uh... They're going to see us switched, or we, we can't quick swap, so they will see this happen. They seem really keen on getting her burst out, though. Interesting. Kitsing's burst, well, nice. I don't think is near as valuable as the other two. The Luke can light. pretty much instantly kill someone. And Cleese is obviously very good as well. Okay, we're gonna swap to you this then. Is long overdue. And we'll see what the opponent does. They're, they have the ability to end first. Like I said, they'll probably swap off of uh, Kitsing. I can't imagine them staying on there and taking a bunch of damage. No, they're they're going to do it. Okay. Uh, let's see. How do we want to do this? Well, that plus three wouldn't be enough to actually kill, unfortunately. It would only get us to seven. Unfortunate. Um, so instead, we do this. And then draw, see what we get. We get another dice that we could use. Do I want to use this now for this? Probably not. Better to save this stuff, see what we want to do for the next round. Okay, we do have a quick swap, which can be very useful here, especially if we get hit by something. That being said, I would like some Hydro Dice to help with that. Omni will work as well. Looks like we have everything that we pretty much need. Just kind of depends on what they're going to do now. If they remain on Kitsing and hyper-invest into her, which they seem to have put quite a bit of investment into already, then we will be able to get the kill pretty much immediately. I don't even think we'll need any of our stuff. So... We may not even need to use the burst, per se. We could theoretically just use his skill and, and kill her. And then save the burst for something else. And that would also save us on dice with star signs, so that might be an option to consider as well. Plus, it'll keep him in a more defensive position. That does seem what they're doing. Interesting. Um, okay, then. Yeah, because that will be very lethal. No escape. Right idea. Wrong time. 
And we have enough dice to do something if we need to. Skill, okay. How do we want to play that? Do we want to like switch to Bennett perhaps and give him some energy here? Um, we could also just burst the Klee down. That'd be four. Um, yeah, I could see us just burst killing the Klee here, going back and forth there. So that could be an option. It's not ideal if i did this it would also be nine i don't know if i want to waste that per se if i did this this would be eight uh which wouldn't be enough but i do think this would be good and I the agent's I. gonna take a little bit of damage but that's fine there's that okay and then our trick is going to be... To swap on over the here. Shall be and then drop this. And unless they have a dice to be able to move to Diluc and they don't, we should be able to finish the Klee off. Problem is, of course, the overload. We are going to get hit pretty hard with that. Um, but I think we'll be fine. Bennett should be able to help get us through this. We are going to need to get enough Hydro Dice. We should be able to have enough just from that and the Omni. And then two Electro Dice, because why not, I guess. Use it for star signs. Okay. Um, before that happens, though, I am going to heal her. Okay, now what is the D loop doing? He has heal. We're dealing with overload here. That is going to do quite a bit of damage and takes us here. Mm hmm. How do we want to play that? Might be best just to go to Bennett at this point. Gonna be epic. I hope so, Bennett. I hope so, for your sake. Yeah, we could theoretically use the dice there and then double star sign, but I think it'd probably be better to use his skill and then star sign. Uh, that way we can get the burst, and then if we need to, swap to her to kill. If we can draw a quick swap, which I'm not sure if I used all of mine. If not, we could easily wait for a point where they end turn without anything to rig dice and the fact that they're using a lot of cards here. Um, they are putting themselves in a situation where they may not be able to do much for for dice rigging. Um, we are, however... Hmm. Maybe the double star sign is the option. That way we end first... I wouldn't want them to have a star sign and be able to use it and burst kill Bennett. So I'm thinking this might just be the idea. Is double star sign. And then end turn so that we can hopefully get this off immediately come next uh, next round. Because if they have a means to get energy and then burst, that's 8 damage incoming. That's kind of a big deal. The Paimon there could be useful, maybe. Depends on how well we're able to do this. Okay, we've got everything that we pretty much need here to get the burst off. Let's see if we can maybe get another Hydro. Nope, that Cryo is very tenacious. I did that and it had only be four. It wouldn't be worth it. Everybody stand back! Okay, let's see what he does. We could also play this as well. Again, as long as... If we can get over to there, 
we're pretty much solid. Crimson Witch, okay. We may need the heals now. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm not too concerned at this point, actually. Even if Bennett dies, he has his burst out. The plus two will not be enough to deal with the burst, the double burst combo onto a reaction. So they can sacrifice every card they want. That will not be enough to kill everything here. Couldn't break the curse. <sighs> the insolent shall be punished. And we get to go first. So yeah, I think plus that. I think we're good. Even if we have to sacrifice all three cards other than this, we'll be able to get the victory here. Lots of pyro, but we have our hydro, so no big deal there. We'll just reroll just in case there's something tricky, but I ain't seeing it. I think they probably realize what's coming as well. Yeah, burst is nine. No need for the Mirror 12 there, so yeah. Like there can be no excuse for this thing. And so there we go. Coming through with uh, combos from Bennett. Bennett, again, really carries this particular... Uh, this particular team here getting that bennett burst off really allows for a lot of tricky combos to come through so on to the next okay very interesting deck we've got up here looks like it's kind of a wild card big smashy though over there up the law churl so we are gonna have to worry about some pretty hefty burst damage um this isn't bad we just don't have much for our energy here and that's a little concerning so i might swap these two out and then try to see if we can get some energy and we do so that could be very nice um yeah let's roll with that <sighs> the insolent shall be punished and we are going to be able to get our skill off so that'll be nice Lots of Electro if we had a Paimon. They're going to be able to go first, so that's fine. Ow. Always have to remember just how much damage that thing can do. It is quite terrifying. So definitely you worth taking die. our big stompy friend out early here. Got some heal going on. Are they going to attack again? Ow, again. That's very big, very stompy. Now I wonder. If he does two, plus two is four. Stone hide is subtract one. So that's three. That's lethal. I don't think I need to actually place this. I think we just have a lethal on him right here. Unless I can't count. Two... And then plus two of that is four. Subtract one is three. Plus three is six. We're going to have to convert a couple of things, but I do think we can take this guy out very quickly, and they have no dice to swap him, so... You cannot run. We are just going to need to take out two different things, though. Um, hmm. Ooh, do we take out the energy and then go for just the bursts? Maybe. I do think we'll be able to survive. Uh, 
and that's six. Leaving so soon. Which is enough there to get an round one kill on him, and that's an instant concession right there. Yeah, that's definitely a combo that can probably only be done consistently on maybe the Lala Churl to get his HP that low, since he only starts with eight. Of course, I guess, theoretically, we could have gotten a normal character down to seven with the Hydro, and then we would have had seven lethal without using the burst too. So that's also a possibility. That's another potential combo that can be done without bursts at all. So very nice. Okay, looks like we've got ourselves a burning bloom kind of a deck here. The Kole is going to be a tricky one that we're going to want to take out early. Um, this isn't terrible. We've got ramp. We don't have any of our energy, but we do have card draw. We do have some burst power. We have our elemental power. I think we could run with this. Yeah, I think we could go with it. Uh, it just kind of depends on what we roll into here. <laughs> They're starting with Xiang Ling. So they are probably going to swap off very quickly here. Get lots of pyro. So if they don't swap off and they give us the means to do it, which I don't think they will. I don't think we will have means to do anything to, to insta-kill one of these characters. I don't I don't see that happening. Especially since they had to immediately use their dice conversion there. They probably didn't draw the pyro dice that they wanted, and they're just gonna switch. Ooh, that could be useful for us. Boba, get them! So they play that, immediately go to Mona. So they are going for a Vaporize here. Very interesting. They will also be able to Quick Swap, which we won't. That's very unfortunate. You can't hide. A heal there. Let me scrub. Okay, so how do we want to play this? We do have a lot of pyro going through here. And the shield there. Hmm. Okay, so let's think. They're at nine. They have a subtract one. Bennett hits for three plus that. Um that's five. We'll only be able to do eight damage here, so that won't even be enough to kill the Mona if we do this. Uh, and that's going to be a bit tricky. Maybe we just play the ramp and wait. We're going to take a hefty amount of damage here, unfortunately, but that just might be the smartest move. In fact, I might just draw to see if we draw into something else that we can play, too. Uh, I do think the ramp and wait option is going to be what we do, and we can probably place that on there. That's going to hit us for four. And then another there, so that's five coming in. We'll be at four, which is quite dangerous. They'll be able to quick swap off, also a bit dangerous. Um, hmm. And we'll have Hydro on us. Yeah, this is... An issue with summon decks here. We don't have any real summon removal to deal with it, so... Without being able to instantly take someone out or having a good amount of heal, we do have a problem. We can quick swap the Bennett potentially here. I think switching to Bennett will be the better choice, even though we've drawn some questionable dice there, or rolled some questionable dice. I do think this will be the choice. I won't hold you back. Much. Yeah, that's only gonna be eight. Um which is unfortunate. We don't have a means of doing any other kind of, of damage there. 
So maybe just hold off until we can get a lethal. Yeah, that's probably the play. Is just hold off on using this until we can hit up a surprise lethal. We do have more dice than them, so that is an advantage for us. They will be able to switch for free, though. And then heal for six, that's fine. Shadows of fate! Hmm. We've got this back up here, which is an issue. Even if we attack again, hmm. We'll attack again, see what happens here. Again, we could have tried to get his burst out, but I just don't think that's going to be worth it right now. And they can quick swap off, and they probably will. Attack. Interesting, they're going to go for burst then. Okay, so that's going to be an issue. Uh, let's see what we can roll here. That's going to do, again, four, and then once we're going to be at three. Theoretically, we will be able to kill the Mona just with this alone. Um, though they probably will swap. And without the Mona, we'll just have to worry about burning. Yeah, they did swap to the Kole. And now we are going to take a heck of a lot of damage here, and then they'll get a Bloom off if we use anything. Okay, we have the pizza. do have enough for his burst. We don't have what I would like from his burst, though. The skill card to go with it. So if we do that, we go up to five. Skill here, plus if they have Sidewinder, would be also five. So I do think we have to heal. Uh, I think that's going to be kind of a requirement here. And then from there, we can do this. That'll take us to six. Everybody stand back! Okay, they've got a free swap if they need it. We don't have a quick swap, which means we're not going to really be able to do a whole lot there. Elemental skill bloom. But again, they can free swap. Um, that would take us to four, which would not be enough. Hmm. Let's see what they do with this. You cannot run. Let's see where they're going. They're probably going to try to set up to summon someone. I can't imagine they stay on Kole much if they've got the bloom there. Unless they're just going to use it to tank damage. 
and try to like draw into something to further heal Mona. So they might try to just swap the Mona here. Nope, normal attack, do one. So they have burst. Um, hmm. Let's think about this. We could kill the Kole. So I think if anything, we just star signs and wait. We could take out the Kole right there. And then Mona won't be much more. Okay. We can convert to if we need to for the pyro which we will need to. Um, well, we'll need to convert something here. Actually, I don't know if we'll need to convert two. Then that's eight. Plus this, we'll get the two dice back. An eye for an eye. There's Mona, who probably does have a burst herself ready. There's the heal for five. Fate is upon you. Okay. So that could be a thing. Um, that'll only do one, and then we get the two. If we can do it. This will just do two and the two. Uh, no, still no real big deal for us too much. Uh... We could always, like, swap and sack Bennett. If we swap and sack Bennett, then we could do uh, a burst on someone and potentially kill someone there. But Bennett's burst is what's kind of keeping us alive here. So I don't know if I necessarily want to do that. Do I just convert instead? Perhaps, yeah, I think this might be best still. We get the heal off. We get some amount of no escape. damage going on here. The opponent does have a heal, though. That's going to be a problem. Interesting. Delved into destiny. Okay, so that gets hit for that. How do we want to play this? I think this will work fine. Kind of regretting the star signs now because we could have gotten it from the other one. I just kind of forgot it was there. So now we are kind of depending on it to get the energy since they will convert, or uh, they will probably move over here. If we had the energy, we would be able to pretty much get the kill. We can quick swap though, so that is fine. That'll be the kill for us right there. Yeah, let's see if we can get more hydro here. Not quite. Okay. Uh, we quick swap into her. <sighs> the insolent shall be punished. If I do that, that's five. I do that, that's lethal. Um, 
or do we save the burst? Maybe we save the burst. Um, or maybe not. Maybe we just use the burst right now. I think we just use the burst now because if she has something that can give her a burst, she dies. <laughs> and this would be much more valuable. The stars are fading. So if they have something that can give energy, then that's going to be a problem for us. They're probably just going to summon Gulba. Or a normal attack. Okay. Which is a two. They will be able to get that off, which is a problem. Hmm. I have an idea. What if we sacrifice the Mirror Maiden and then this, that, on him, lethal? It's going to require a lot of dice, but I think we can do it. Sack the Mirror Maiden. And we have another dice. Plenty of things to sacrifice for it. I think we're good here. They're going to need probably a Lotus Crypt to survive it. And I just don't know if they're going to be able to, uh, to have that. Unless they, of course, summon. If they instead do a summon instead of an attack, that could be a little tricky to work around, but as long as we can, uh, as long as we can keep up the dice, we'll be fine. And as long as we can keep this up, too. They probably see it coming. They do have a Lotus Crisp, though. Very interesting. Okay, so now I've got to rethink the, uh, rethink the combo here. This body You'll do five us. plus yes. three, which will just be back down to five. Won't be able to kill, though. Hmm. Yeah, this won't be able to kill, because this is going to subtract our three, and we'll essentially just do eight, which is annoying. The other opportunity is to just... Do we have the dice for it? And I think we might. If we just normal attack with him to take it out. Gonna be epic. If we just normal attack, we might be able to do something here. So it'll be three dice gone. We'll have five left plus the two once we do this. Or we could just do this in burst. Um, that's another opportunity here. If we do that and then burst. That might keep us alive, actually. That might be another opportunity. Mm. But then we lose out on... Yeah, we lose out on the reaction, and they got the heal. And I think we just keep that out the normal attack. Okay. Couldn't break the curse. Now it's pretty much now or never here. So I do hope we have enough, and I do believe that we will. And there you go, there's 13. That's it. Ooh, pretty pretty close match there against a deck that could use a lot of summons to start off doing some big damage very early. Again, can't underestimate the power of Bennett's Burst to get you through those tough times with its healing, and also the Pyro Resonance Reaction buff is just insanely good. All in all, Pyro Fatui deck, while it doesn't have the most explosive opening as frequently as, say, the Hydro Fatui can, in theory, it is much more balanced of a deck and will go the distance a lot more consistently than the Hydro Fatui deck will. The only other weakness really between them is going to be the Pyro Fatui's inability to quick swap as consistent, uh, consistently as the Hydro deck. But again, 
still looking at the consistency of victories, it still works out pretty well. So, let's compare the two decks and see which one is better overall. Strictly from a win-loss ratio, the Pyro Fatui deck comes out on top. However, in the ample amount of testing that I did on both decks, there's a lot more to be said here than just that. The Pyro Fatui deck's main advantage over the Hydro Fatui deck is its consistency. By including Bennett and using Pyro Resonance, this deck is able to maintain pressure through the mid-game while also mitigating damage and gaining burst energy for an explosive endgame. While it has the potential to do round 1 and round 2 lethal combos on opponents, it usually opts for a slower start that builds up energy and leaves the opponent worrying about when the instant death burst will pop out. The Hydro Fatui deck, on the other hand, often requires the round 1 or round 2 lethal combos to get an early lead. That early lead is often the only thing allowing the deck to hold out through the mid-game until it can set up another combo. Even with the Hydro Resonance's healing cards, the deck struggles with recovering from reaction-based damage and combos. However, if it can pick off critical targets in the first or second round, it may be able to cripple the opponent's ability to even do meaningful reactions. In regards to its own reactions, it can often set them up better than the Pyro Fatui deck due to Mona's skill and passive abilities, allowing for better Hydro application and quick swapping. Both decks, however, suffer from a lack of card draw. The opening hand plays a huge role in the success of these decks. Additionally, since both decks only run a few cards for dice rigging, they both run the potential of bad dice rolls sabotaging their turns. Because of that, other than the energy cards, the Paimon cards are pretty important in both decks. In terms of overall competitiveness, though, the Pyro Fatui deck takes the lead. Despite some of the early fun and explosive combos that the Hydro Fatui deck can do, its inconsistency lands it with a rating of 6 out of 10. Despite suffering from some of the same card draw and dice issues as the Hydro Fatui deck, the Pyro Fatui deck has the Pyro Resonance Reaction buff card and Bennett's Burst to give it more consistency in the mid and late game. That additional damage and survival consistency leads this deck to an 8 out of 10. As one final note, I want to mention that I went through numerous versions of each deck, some of which did not hyper-invest in energy mechanics to spam bursts. However, these versions ended up being the most consistent for each respective deck. That being said, feel free to modify the decks and even try going for a different build archetype other than energy and burst. As always, if you enjoyed the video or the decks, feel free to let me know in the comments and subscribe for more TCG videos.